Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the automated assembly lines and its application advantage and disadvantages and types of the automated assembly lines. So basically, this automated assembly lines is nothing but the base of the automation. Means it will take the base of the automation. How that you know that automation is nothing but the use of various control systems that involves automatic handling between the machines and also the use of robotic sensors and other system integration and due to the automation what is happening there will be increase in productivity as well as robustness of the product and other part of this automated assembly line apart from the automation is that the manufacturing system considered for this automation is automated assembly line is used for high volume production and the parts that requires multiple processing operations here each processing operation is performed at the workstations means there are stations are provided there and the stations they are physically integrated by the mechanized work transport so as to form an automated production line and other applications of automated production lines that will be including the use of robots for spot welding purpose means for example these robots will be using for spot welding for painting then for sheet metal press working and electroplating of the metals so the application of this automated assembly lines is for high, where the high demand is required for high production quantities and where the life of the product should be long and uh, this multiple operations will be performed on that production line during the manufacturing of any of the products for use for that part and uh, particularly this auto automated production line is automation production lines providing the following advantage so what are the advantages so it will be requiring low amount of direct labor and production cost will be low and production rate will be high without any downtime and there will be minimum use of floor space means whatever the shop floor we are using the space required will be low but the disadvantage of this automated production line is that it is difficult to reuse the equipment means once the equipment has been used and it is damaged we are not able to use that system again when demand for the product decreases or when the company users has overestimated the demand and the line is undersized means now if you are using that system and apart means that system if you get if it get fails then we are not able to use that system again so this is the drawback of the automated assembly line so what are the different types of automated assembly line so there are three types of automated assembly line so in that first is what inline configuration second is segmented inline configuration and third is rotary configuration okay now we will see in detail each of these automated assembly line so here you are seeing the inline configuration system so what is this inline configuration system it basically consists of a sequence of station so here if you see there will be station 1 station 2 station 3 and n number of stations means there will be sequence of stations in a straight line it will be having sequence of stations particularly in a straight line the stations may be n number and so this configuration is used for the machining of big bulk pieces means it will be used for bulk production means where the work piece size will be more, more. and for example it may be used for uh, machining the ic engine components or some transmission parts and here the inline configuration can also accommodate large number of stations as i have told you that there will be n number of stations and uh, in this inline system it can be also be designed with uh, some buffer storage buffer system means here if you see there will be auto means there will be components will be added at each and every stations so whatever the production we are getting so here there will be starting of base part and whole assembly will be taking place at this each and every station and your system will get completed means product will get completed at this outlet part so this is the inline configuration system where there will be n number of stations and the part will be started means product will be started from base a single part and combination will be done at this sub systems sub stations and final product will be get at this part so this is the inline configuration system now this is the segmented inline configuration system now what is the difference between inline and segmented so the segmented inline configuration it basically consist of two or more straight line transfer system means here if you see in the previous part there was only one single part now here it may be single or double means this is l shape configuration this is u shape and this is rectangular shape means instead of one single line here there will be 
single, double, or particularly a path flow will be there. Now, <clears throat> why means for what purpose we are going this? We are going for this segmented inline configuration. So here, by using this segmented inline configuration, the floor space required will be low, and uh, a workpiece which is in the system can be reoriented to represent different surface. It can be reoriented for different operations that we are going to perform. So here, if you see, so this is the starting part, and here it will be followed by this. There will be also stations, but this will be a continuous flow where the product will start at one single phase. and all assembly will be done at this part and you will be getting complete part at this at this moment okay so this is the basic difference between inline and segmented means we can provide single a path flow or a two line simultaneously so this is segmented inline configuration now after segmented inline configuration means as we these are the types of the l shape u shape and rectangular shape configuration last is the rotary configuration so now the basic this is the basic difference here shown if you see this is the layout miss particular this is the line layout of the rotary configuration and here this is the actual system used in the industrial application how the rotary configuration system is been used in so this is the system part where the assembly is taking place and these are the control panels and at the outlet part you will be getting the finished product so starting part assembly part and finished product part means here i have shown so this is the basic layout so now this road the as it name indicates the process flow will be rotary so the name of this configuration system is, is rotary in rotary configuration system here the work part transport mechanism means here the system transmission uh, sorry the system uh, product transport is divided into two categories rotary indexing mechanism or linear transport system for inline part okay so now this is the basic difference between inline segmented and rotary in rotary the part will come at this part a single part of the product it will be now perform some n number of operations as per the process flow and after completing the n number of operations you will get the fine product here outside so this is the basic difference between inline segmented and rotary configuration part and uh, the rotary indexing mechanism it also provides the synchronous motion to the product and here the floor space it will be required very less as compared to also segmented inline so mostly this type can be used for the automated assembly line okay thank you